In this tutorial, I'm going to expand on the basics of creating a halftone gradient uh, effect in Curl Draw that will build on my last video where I showed you the the very basics of creating a, a halftone pattern or halftone effect. So if you haven't watched that. I would recommend watching it because we're going to kind of skip over some things that were covered there. Um, but in this one, in this video, I want to kind of show um, kind of the resolution dependency on creating a uh, halftone effect and how you can get um, different sized um, half different different sized uh, resolution of your halftone gradient pattern. So in order to do that we're just going to create a circle, just add a black fill, no outline. We're also going to create our s square that's gonna we're just gonna center the two objects together. We're gonna make sure that the square doesn't have a fill or an outline uh, just because we want this to be our our image edge um, so uh, I want to add a gradient uh, to our circle object and we're just going to do the elliptical fountain fill and just so we can kind of see the effect we're going to just adjust the gradient so we get a little bit sharper of a transition of our halftone pattern. Uh, with that done, I'm going to select both and we'll just group them just for ease. I'm just going to scale this down kind of small and then we're going to duplicate this and we're just going to scale this one up uh, quite a bit larger just so we can see the dramatic effect of the how you get a different look given the two sizes so first thing we want to do is take the smaller one we're going to bitmap it add a grayscale transparent background we're going to do the same thing to the larger one once that's done I'm going to take the smaller one and we'll go up to bitmap, color transform, halftone. And we're just going to have 45 degrees on the black and the max dot radius to 10. We're just going to keep those settings for the both objects just so that we can see how the the size of your bitmap image and the resolution create a different look. So we'll just click OK. And then we'll do the same thing for the larger object. Go back, bitmap, color transform, halftone, and same thing. Same same settings as before. Click OK. And now you can see it was the same vector circle that we started with for both and we got a different resolution to our halftone pattern based on the size that the original image started at so if you need kind of a larger dot effect you can uh, start with a smaller circle bitmap that and run the same settings and you'll get two completely different looks here, depending on how uh, uh, the depth of resolution to that pattern that you need for whatever you're working on. Um, at this point, you could then just go ahead and we're going to trace the, the image. Adjust those. Okay. Do 
do the same thing for this one. Low quality image. It takes a little longer because there's more to calculate. And we'll click OK. So now we have vector versions of each of these uh, halftone patterns that now can scale them up or down to whatever we're working on for whatever our purpose might be. Um, yeah, uh, so there's something to be aware of. Like if you, um, you know, if you are trying to convert a, you know, an image from the internet or something, the resolution that the image you bring in has an effect on the size of the the dot half tone pattern that you'll get from that image. Um, but yeah, so with this understanding, you'll be able to kind of get the look you are needing for whatever project you're working on. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. If you like the video, please like, subscribe, and share. Thanks.